All right, let's make this straight-ish. Straight enough. I think we okay. What's going on, YouTube? Um, yeah, man, I have tried, I would say, at least 15 takes on trying to get this intro down pat. But uh, it was all fails. No good. I guess I'm just not the cheesy type. So I'm gonna just go for, you know, real off the rip uh hello <laughs> my name is alan uh but i would like to be known as keep pushing kicks now this is the first video of my youtube channel um you know i have a special unboxing for you guys i wanted to get this video done asap before sneaker con chicago 2019 uh i'll let you know why closer to the end of the video but um yeah man I got this unboxing and also wait I wanted to apologize first and foremost for the quality of my video um, you know I don't have the correct equipment just yet I don't have a special camera uh, I don't have special microphones for audio anything like that I just got my phone I got my basement I you see I don't even have a backdrop uh, so yeah all of that is coming my goal is to give you guys the best quality videos that I can give but you know first video we gotta start somewhere but let me get to this unboxing sit back relax and hope you enjoy the video alright and here is the box that I was telling y'all about uh, this is a special package from soul salvation customs or trash underscore two underscore treasured on Instagram head over there and check out my guy Eric he is amazing at what he does man he does really great work he is a hundred percent transparent with you during the whole time of your project um, anytime I had a question I just hit him up on IG he was quick with an answer he gave me updates um, throughout the whole process and everything like that man I am super excited to get into this box and um yeah man as you can see i have not opened this box yet don't want to show you the other side because that's where the addresses are but uh yeah man looks like he sent me a box from the uh from the kitchen <laughs> that's okay man it looks that, that that just means he was cooking up something right so uh i don't have a knife so i'm just gonna have to tear into this box let's uh There we go. Oh, nope. All right. Hold on. Oh, okay. Making progress. This one-handed stuff. It, oh, and he got it cross-taped. All right. I'm going to need a knife. Hold on. All right. No, no knife, but we got scissors. So, just cut into this. I tell you, boy, these YouTubers doing this stuff with one hand oh crazy how y'all that's why that's why i need a tripod and a camera set up so then i can get my other hand back all right well i think this might be yeah i can break it from here all right so into the box come on damn it all right we good into the box man we got uh, everything look he packages it nice man it's all good everything's protected everything like that let's get this out the way and let's get to the shoes we got the shoe out the box out of all that bubble wrap and everything like that man eric thank you so much for packing that uh so safely um i sent him two shoes this is the first shoe to come back. The other one is getting worked on as I record this video. Um, but this shoe, I had to send it to him ASAP because I didn't like how it came um, stock, we'll say. And uh, based off that hint, you probably already know what the shoe is. But we'll take a look at the tag. It is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black Starfish Pale Vanilla in a size 13. Retail was 160 bucks, and uh, yeah, that's right, man. I got the shattered backboards here, man, and uh, I actually have 
a little uh little size run in the shattered backboards. Let's actually take one out just for reference. This is the 7Y. Now, 7Y. All the shoes really look the same. Uh, we all know that in order to legit check them, uh, the GS sizes came in a small bag with the fruit roll-up style laces with no jump man on the bag um also we know that the gs pairs the tag came on the front where the thumb hole is and on the men's pairs it went on the back where there was uh no thumb hole um but yeah man i mean looking at the shoe it is extra shiny you know i got the ceiling lights on high right now but um yeah man i mean to me, the shoe just, it wasn't all that. I didn't really like the glossy finish on it. Uh, I, I'm i telling everybody that it looks like this shoe has a Krispy Kreme glazed finish on it, man. Uh, other people, they calling it, you know, the Vaseline ones, you know, the... Uh, I don't know. It's it's so many nicknames out there, man. My favorite one is the Pornhub ones. I really like that. Uh, I like that name. That's that's a funny name. But yeah, let's put that there, and let's get to the shoes, man. Let's get to the shoes, man. Eric was so nice um, during this process, man, and ooh, I'm excited, man. I'm I'm really excited. I'm super excited. I can already see the difference. Boy, check that out, man. This is so much better in my humble opinion. And we got the lace swap as well with the orange aglets to match the shattered backboard orange on here. Well, they call it starfish. So, but yeah, man. I like it. I like it. He did such a good job on these, man. Let's take them out the box. Let's take them out the box and get the box out the way. All right, man. Now that we got the shoes out the box, we're going to take an up-close look at everything, man. And I think that these look so much better. Actually, let me move these to the side real quick so y'all can see a side-by-side -side comparison. Before, after, before, after, <laughs> Krispy Kreme glaze, plain donut, man, I like them, I like them a lot, man, the only thing that I wish Jordan Brand did was not do this material, I wish they did more of the, the tumbled leather, not the, you know, crinkled paper um leather that they have on here man but the leather is nice everything like that the upper this you know it's all right it's plush plush ish i guess um but yeah man eric did such a good job on these man it's still it's not it's not the matte the matte finish that uh that you see on everybody else's uh on on some some other people's customizations um here on the men's pair you got the uh big oversized bag with the jump man on it uh with the extra laces um but yeah man it's not the matte finish that that everybody else is doing this one is still a little bit shiny which is okay to me i don't mind it uh you know just a little bit glossy this is that's too much it's way too much man way too much but this dulled down is perfect for me man the uh the aglets are a hit i like them man i like them got that vanilla bottom everything like that i have a special t-shirt that i ordered especially for these you know uh matches the colorway perfectly that will be coming in the mail uh fairly soon yeah man y'all tell me what y'all think man y'all tell me what you think you do you like the before or you like the after and um you know what do y'all think what do y'all think of uh 
of my guy's job, man. I think he did an excellent job. Very, very good, good job. He laced them up for me. He actually said that he made these laces himself, man. He, uh, there's a, I think there's supposed to be a screwdriver. Not in that shoe. There's a screwdriver to take these aglets off. Um, uh, I'll find the screwdriver later. But, yeah, man, the, the aglets, they got this little special little small screw in order to take them off. I'll have to take off the aglets in order to unlace the shoe if I want to do a lace swap or anything like that. But, um, yeah, man, I think they are super dope. Way better than the original. Um, but, you know, that's just my humble opinion. Y'all tell me how y'all are feeling about the transition between the two all right all right and like i said at the beginning of the video let me move this out the way move these to the side clear some space all right now like i said at the beginning of the video i wanted to get this edited and uploaded out there to y'all because of sneaker con chicago 2019 this is what i'm gonna be wearing man Check that out. If you've never seen this logo before, I hope that it will become familiar to you. When you see this logo, you know you're dealing with me. Um, this is my YouTube logo, and it is my Instagram logo. You can follow me on Instagram at keep pushing kicks, all one word, no underscores, all the correct spelling. Um, yeah, man. But the real reason I wanted to, you know, get this video up to y'all ASAP is because I didn't want to get caught false flagging check that out got my name on the back yeah <laughs> you can follow me at keep pushing kicks i'm um, on instagram facebook and now i'm on youtube check that out and playstation playstation you know i play 2k a little bit play a little call of duty uh play all types of games man i have no you know particular genre that i mess with i mess with them all man i've been playstation nation uh since 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 the beginning of time man so yeah y'all can hit me up on any one of these four uh i would love to hear from you love to interact with new people i like meeting new people talking to people everything like that man so yeah that's that all right man and that's gonna be a wrap on this video man y'all tell me what y'all think about uh soul salvation customs job on my shatter backboard 3.0s like i said i love them I love them a lot. Um, but yeah, man, once again, I apologize for the quality of this video. Um, it's not my best work, uh, nowhere near it. And I guarantee you that I will get you my best work as soon as I can. Uh, hopefully I can get me, a, you know, a high quality camera, um, you know, maybe some microphones, better lighting, um, all of that stuff during this upcoming Black Friday sale. And uh, yeah, man, sky's the limit. We're going to go from here. But I know one thing. I'm going to keep pushing. Y'all have a good one.